friends, welcome to Createful Art. I am traveling to another state this week and I am in Virginia. I just took a drive through Shenandoah National Park during sunset, it was gorgeous and it was also freezing cold. So I took some pictures and I decided I'm going to paint this later. So I wanna show you how to paint the beautiful mountain scene that I saw on our drive. You may be happy to see that I have a clean palette this time for you. I'm grabbing all my reds, oranges, yellows, golds, and all my colors are listed down below in the description. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of each. You're also gonna want your brilliant blue and a lot of white. So the first step, I'm gonna take my two inch brush and my white, a little bit of the brilliant blue, and I'm going to mix on my canvas. I'm just gonna get that blue that's up in the top part of the sky on. And this looks dark right now, so I'm just gonna add some of the white. And typical with skies, it's darker at the top and lighter as you go down. You guys hear those geese? And I'm going to leave texture in my sky here. I want to have that texture to make it feel kind of like it was wild and a feeling of just like powerfulness. I take a whole bunch of white and I'm not cleaning my brush or anything. I'm just gonna bring this down here and blend. And it'll end up being a light blue. I'm moving down to my one inch brush and I'm gonna grab my orange and put my splashes of color in here. Okay, you're gonna follow this line. This is the horizon line and bring that color up. Okay, and this is where you can be very creative with your sky. You don't have to make it look like the sky you see. Okay, I'm gonna bring yellow up above that. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in some of my darker red through here. And then it's gonna get a little purple here, just a little bit. When I come in here, I'm gonna make my clouds. So I'm gonna let that be a little bit thicker. Add a little blue to your purple to give it a little more detail. And the clouds are mostly just near the mountains that are gonna be in here, so. Now that I know where I want my clouds, I'm just gonna come in here and add more yellow where I want my sun to be, or white in this area. Yellow again. It was extremely bright and just like, wow. So that's the feeling I wanna get here. So whatever I need to do to get that feeling, I'm gonna add that whether it's in the reference photo or not. Okay, now I'm just adding a little bit of this tangerine colored clouds up through here. Because as the clouds get further away from the light source, the sun, they get lighter, so not as dark. So just adding that up through here. For this next step, what you're gonna do is still keep your one inch brush and you're gonna wanna wash that out. So now I'm gonna grab my follow cyan blue green shade and my dioxine purple and my brilliant blue and we're gonna start on the mountains. I have a lesson on how to mix colors to match the colors you see and I'll put that in the description. I'm trying to match that far, far mountain. My sky is meeting my mountains. I'm just gonna come in here and give it like some ridges. I don't want it to go straight across, but it's almost straight across. So if you add water to your brush, okay, it's going to just kind of blend down. So this next layer, you're gonna get darker. Starts right here. Goes over that. Comes in here like this down through this top right here, comes through here and then dips and then straightens back out. Okay, so I get more on my brush and I do the same thing. I blend this down. 
I'm gonna let this get wider. Grab more of your blue, more of your purple. I'm gonna use a little more blue than I am purple because I want these to be those blue ridge mountains. See if that's dark enough. And if it's not dark enough, just add straight black. So I'm starting right here, looking at my reference, and just following the lines that I see. And this actually goes down into the valley here, like that. So I bring this down again. Now this time when I'm bringing it down, I'm letting some of that light, the lighter color, show through. And I'm actually going to stop swaying it this way <laughs> and sway it this way, okay? A little bit of a darker value. And add a little bit in front here. Some more hills. There really is a lot of blue ridges here. And then right in here, there's a whole bunch of trees and fields. So I'm just gonna give the appearance of that by chopping it up with my brush strokes. Bring that over. One hill here that is very dark and it just kind of comes up here. Now I'm gonna take this dark color and I'm gonna be adding green to it. And this is the trees that are in the foreground. And they go all the way across. Now I'm gonna add some grasslands that are right here. I'm going to take my gold here and create a line across. Okay, you don't need to go all the way to the edge because this actually is going to come down and be trees all through here. So we might as well just add those in as the darkest element. Here is the shadow. Add the dark green through here. That's the field. Taking this crossed. And basically what we have here is trees in front of it and these trees will have green a lot more green in them so I'm just going to use my straight green and they cover the field stop wind stop I'm going to spread this color down here and then I'm going to come in and put my brush strokes back in because I don't want it to be all flat Okay, if your pasture looks a little bright, just tone it down with some green. You don't want to take the focus off of this sun right here in the mountains back there. So really this foreground is just basically fill in. I mean, to separate the mountains from the trees, just add the light on the top of the trees there. Take it down a little bit. I'm adding some purple to the bottom of those trees to create even more contrast. Creating a line between that and the grass. Okay, and then you're gonna have light touching these trees through here. Just come in here with your gold, your yellow, and separate those trees. For the final step, you wanna step back and you wanna add your own personal touches. Thank you so much for creating with me. I hope you had fun. I wanna give a shout out to all my Crateful Art members who made this video possible so I could share it with you. You too can become a Crateful Art member. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up in one around here somewhere. You can get discounts on art prints and fun little art things from me. I'm trying to think of all the things that I have on there for you, but you need to go and check it out for yourself. There's also some videos that I have from traveling to all 50 US states that you can watch right here and some more videos on painting landscapes. Go ahead and binge watch if you want. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. I will see you in my next video. Bye.